Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Marion. I was recently diagnosed with type 2 diabetes and I've been posting on my channel how I control my blood sugar using natural supplements. By also combining it with changes to my diet and exercise, I'm hoping my blood work will show improvement till one day I'm no longer diabetic. Wish me luck and thanks for watching. Are you buying the lunch today? <laughs> oh, this is the prettier way I feel like. I think so. it's me Mary I am recording today because today is the day that I read out my results from my most recent blood work that I did um, on Friday the 9th so today I have a doctor's appointment with my PCP and that's scheduled for three o'clock later today so today is November 13th, it's 10.57 a.m. I'm going to read my blood test results and just basically I wanted to get like a genuine reaction to like reading the results and share it with you guys. So um, while I'm reading it, I am going to screen record what I see. So hopefully I can post that up without like showing anything like personal information um so yeah let's go ahead and do this shall we so i'm logged in to my my chart and this is how i communicate with my doctor and basically view the results on my mobile phone i am genuinely nervous just because you know you just like never know what the result is going to be and I felt like I put in a lot of work but then I I also like you know to have a life like I wasn't trying to completely restrict myself of carbs since I'm trying to like reintroduce my body to taking carbs again and so you know towards like that period here and there I would spike high and then I just like go for a walk so I'm just looking at it I'm like oh my god okay I just gotta know what it is so I did a C peptide test um, micro microbumin urine test a hemoglobin a1c which is basically gonna tell me like where my blood sugar is at and you know if it's under I believe 5.7 it's normal and then 5.7 to 6 is like pre-diabetes and then I think 6 and up is diabetes so I'm gonna start with the C peptide first 
and that is basically to show if I am producing um, insulin, it's like to rule out if I am type 1 or type 2 since I am newly diagnosed with diabetes. So let's go ahead and see this. So my C peptide shows normal. It says right now it's at the 2.7 range and it's in the green bar. So that's that's good. Oh, sorry. It might be a little too bright. Let me change that. Um, hold on. So that's what it's showing. And as you can see, I'm screen recording while I look. So you'll be able to know what I see. Um, so yeah, so we're going to go back to test results. And then the next one I'm going to look at is the microbumin urine random test. I don't really know. I got to look that up later. Um, what does it say? Okay, so it seems normal. It says, oh, I guess one of them says non-reportable. Not sure if that's good or bad. It's a micro bowl create create ratio re urine that says non-reportable micro bn i don't know urine it says it's at 12 value 12 and then creatine it says 35.1 and that says it's moderately increased um so I guess it's not like good. It's not that good, I guess. Um, but it says relative to young adult level, it's between 30 to 300 milligrams. Um, so at least it's under 300, okay? So that's one of them. And then we're gonna go back to test result. And the next one I gotta read is, well, should I do basic metabolic panel first and then go to the A1C or? Because I think the basic one will just show me an average of everything. Okay, I'll do A1C last. So I'll do the basic metabolic panel first. Glucose is still high, it's at 118. Um, I guess that's, that was my fasting glucose for that morning. And then B1, I gotta look that up again, but it's in the green, so it's not too bad. Creatine, it's like right on the green, like the entry, so 0.6 is normal, 0.6 to 1.4, and I'm at 0.6. Um, the next one, EGFR, CDK, hyphen, EPI, CR, 2021, I don't know, value is at 119, um, I can't tell if it's good or bad, but sodium, sodium says it's in the green, 141, potassium, 4.7 in the green, chloride, 105 in the green, CO2, 23 in the green, calcium, 9.3 in the green, so... So the very last thing I gotta read to y'all is my A1C, and um, this is the one that I'm kind of nervous about because I was really high the last time I did my blood work. Um, so I'm just like hoping for improvement. I'm not hoping for a miracle, just like an improvement, you know? Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and click it. It went down. I mean, it's still showing that I'm diabetic, but it did go down. Um, so normal value is supposed to be 5.7 and under. I think I mentioned that earlier. Um, my value right now is at 6.6, .6, which is really good compared to, let's see, view trends. So it was like a dramatic, pretty dramatic drop, but it's still showing that I have 
diabetes so I'm not pre-diabetic I was kind of hoping to be in the pre-diabetic range I'm okay with this because it was at 9.7 before and it went down now I just gotta share it with Harrison and let him know what my results are I think he'll be happy for me he knows I've been trying and there have been a lot of walks and a lot of you know just like eating like at home like just a lot of cabbage meals <laughs> that he's like for it but you know he knows like I have to do it so he's he's not discouraging me from eating those meals but like he wants to try something different <laughs> but yeah overall this isn't so bad so let's share the news with him Har Harrison I said can you come out so I gotta show with show you the result from my thing sit next to me What did you think it was going to be? Low. Light? I don't know. What is it, low? Six? Five? Normal? What it's not low? normal. It's a little high? It's still, it's still saying diabetes. Mm -hmm. So I'm not in the pre-diabetes, like, percent yet. But I'm not, like, that far from it. So it's seven? No. Nine? No, it, it's like it went down. Yeah. Yeah. So, so it's said. not seven. So it's but five point whatever is normal. Five point right? seven so below wait. five point seven is normal. Yeah, like six. So I'm gonna show you. So this is what it's showing right now. And then this was from the Oh yeah. Oh, so it it went down. It's like a f completely like diagonal, you know? But it still says high because normal range is below 5.7. So I'm like what? Like less than a percent yeah, from. You're only point I guess I, I would say a full percent to be under, yeah. like to be in the normal percent. And then my result, fasting glucose was like, what was it? It was 193. Guess what it is now? One hundred and one. One eighteen. It still says it's high because it's supposed to be seventy 99. to ninety-nine. Yeah. But I think I did test that morning that it was around that um, number. So it like did show improvement. So like I have to talk with my doctor later today and let him know that I'm not taking my metformin Even though like there's improvement but he might say shit like but it still shows that you have diabetes so like how did that help you just eight minutes oh and then I did my C peptide and it showed that I'm making like normal like normal insulin no this is what this one was new I asked him to oh. do it since I wasn't sure since I just got diagnosed like a couple months ago so he was like oh yeah it's probably better if you test for that so yeah that's my result good job so i just have to get it down like one percent less mm -hmm. for my a1c which is like a pretty good you know it's, it seems doable but like so i still I gotta eat like more cabbage meals and like do all the walks and stuff like that so what happens like when you uh, get it down normal then? Then I think they're gonna they're gonna see if like I'm still taking something to bring my blood sugar down, and I think they're gonna ask me to stop and see if like I actually but you need it. Been using any of the I haven't been using metformin, but I've been using the fiber supplement and the berberine, mm -hmm. and I can't use. I think berberine, you're only supposed to use it for like six months max, and then you gotta stop. So like eventually, uh, after like this next three months, I'm gonna have to stop using the berberine because it's like something about it altering like your liver function if you like keep using it. Um, 
so like they don't recommend you using it long term but i can i feel like i can still use the fiber supplement because that's not like doing anything other than like adding more fiber to my diet but i mean i don't know are you proud of me yeah good job <laughs> I'm good, how are you? Excellent. Doing well, thanks. Where are you right now? You're at home? Um, I'm at my mom's house. They're doing construction oh. in my apartment, so I have oh, to no. stay here for a little bit. Okay, okay. How have you been since the last time we spoke? I've been pretty good. I've been working on like my diet and I've lost uh, like about 20 pounds since I last oh my visited God, you. Amazing. I know. It's kind of hard to believe. I, I, I don't know how I did it, but it just kind of came off. I guess once I started regulating the sugar, it was just like, just coming off. Yeah. I don't know how to well, explain it. Tell me, when, when, was, when was your last weight, weight that you got? The last time I weighed myself was two days ago, and I'm at 170 the last time I checked. One seven zero. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's that's fantastic. Excellent. I'll put that in here right now. The last time that I checked your weight here, you were one ninety one. Yeah, I was one ninety one. Yeah, that is uh, that is you know like when I put in a new weight, I'm getting a big warning here, and, and they're asking me basically the computer's asking me, is that for real? I'm <laughs> like, yes. <laughs> yeah. Because like that's at first. Weight drop. That's yeah, because at first I thought it was just like I thought it was just like um you know like when you diet and then you kind of drop but then you gain it back. Yeah. Yeah. So I thought it was gonna do that, but so far it's been a steady like on the low end it's one sixty eight and then it's been between one sixty eight to like one seventy two throughout the day. Yeah. So it's okay. been staying there. Well, wow, that's that's fantastic. What, yeah. So like you you changed your diet. You said you like. Yeah. Sweet. I and cut out you. basically any sweet like beverages. So sweet yeah. coffee, sweet teas, like I just cut it out. And then I I actually cut out caffeine, um, because mm -hmm. I I read it was like a contributor to like making my insulin not work or something like that so okay. i just cut okay. it out okay yeah well i mean um the, the numbers you've already seen them i'm sure look look fantastic right that, that you dropped your humongous a1c by over three points that i is, um, i was i was like hoping for the pre-diabetic a1c but then i'm yeah. i'm okay to take that too i felt like it was a progress yeah, oh yeah, yeah, that is a, a huge progress. Yeah. Um, and, and you are no longer taking the, the metformin, is that right? Yeah, so I told Angel I was taking it for about a month, and the first mm. week that I took it, it actually gave me like really bad side pain. So I... Side? Side pain, yeah, and um, like nausea and everything. So I ended up taking um, just the 500 milligram for about a month with my dinner and then um and then i actually like started taking like a supplement pill with it like a fiber supplement so it kind of helped and then i kind of switched over to like turmeric and berberine to like reduce the blood sugar mm, okay well i mean that's that's and that is great i mean i'm, I'm that is incredible that you were able to, to do all of this with like just lifestyle changes and that is obviously the most like sustainable way to to do this right yeah and, like you you brought it up yourself you said that i mean it's it's i mean you have to be careful about um, staying there with your weight right? yeah and and you have to like continuously be vigilant about you know your food is staying away especially from the from the sweets and, yeah and so forth, right yeah um, I mean, and, and again, like, this is this is amazing, seeing the A1C drop so much, I and don't get to see that often, very often with my patients, I'm glad when it happens, so yeah. I'm happy that, that you brought your, your, 
you or anyone see down so much. I hope to share more good news with y'all in the future, so don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell to get updates on new videos related to controlling my diabetes and just fun stuff I do living in Hawaii. Take care and see you next time.